Frigidaire. We introduce the first home freezer. The first pulsator agitator washer. And now we introduce the Frigidaire Orbit Clean Dishwasher, designed with a unique wash arm that gives you four times more water coverage for a consistently better clean. Frigidaire, over 90 years of legendary innovation. See the full line of Frigidaire appliances at Ventura TV Electronics and Appliances. Hi, I'm John Mallis. Welcome to this live edition of Connect With Me on the showroom floor at Ventura TV on this day. You're watching us on Comcast 187, 43.6. And today, the focus is on business, a very unusual business to say the least. You can call in 436, Me TV, option 11. Try to figure this thing out today. Back in just a moment. Back here on the program, and today the focus is on business. But first, before we get to the nature of our broadcast here on Comcast 187 and 43.6 on this day, I want to go back to Ferguson, uh, Missouri, where there was more unrest overnight. In fact, the National Guard was called out uh, yesterday by the Governor Jay Nixon to try to hold down the protesters and hold down the looting and everything else that's going on. But unrest certainly was the name of the game again last night in Ferguson. Two people were shot, not seriously, and there were 31 arrests. We get the latest in this report now from the Associated Press. The sound was deafening. Police using an irritating high-pitched sound to drive protesters away. Monday night, the protests continued in Ferguson, Missouri where an unarmed black 18-year-old was shot dead by a white police officer. Police were ready for anything. They told protesters they couldn't stand in one place, but had to keep moving. Once again, police used tear gas to clear protesters and journalists from the streets and sidewalks. People with saline solution and Maalox poured the solutions in people's eyes to relieve the symptoms. <laughs> Authorities cleared the streets after midnight and asked reporters to leave as well due to reports of gunfire. You're unlawfully assembled. You will be subject to arrest. Captain Ron Johnson of the Missouri Highway Patrol says at least two people were shot and that gunfire was a threat to many more. I stood there and listened over the radio and heard the screams of those officers who were under gunfire. I went back to our SWAT vehicle and saw the gentleman laying in the back who have been shot. Captain Johnson encouraged demonstrators to hold their protest in the daytime so that the small minority of people bent on causing chaos wouldn't be able to use the protest for cover. And I am not going to let the criminals that have come out here from across this country or live in this community define this neighborhood. Johnson also defended the police use of large armored vehicles, saying it allowed them to enter dangerous areas to get shooting victims. Sandy Kozell, the Associated Press. Of course, it goes without saying, this is day number 10 of the uh, Michael Brown incident. The 18-year-old shot by a white officer, Darren uh, Wilson, on, on um, August the 9th there in uh, Ferguson. And, of course, Ron Johnson, the uh, state highway patrolman, taking charge of security and doing uh, a fine job uh, over the last uh, course of the few days. And Eric Holder, by the way, the Attorney General, is going to be in Ferguson tomorrow. Let's get to the focus of our program today here on Connect With Me, and that is business. It is a very unusual business that we're talking about uh, today, to say the least, and most of the business is done outside the city of Fresno, outside the state, outside the country, in fact. That's where a lot of that business is done. I want to take you to the videotape and show you what I'm talking about today. It's called Monster City Studios, a business that's, business that's only been around for a couple of years, but has quickly made its mark here and elsewhere. The business specializes in building 
themed environments, both inside and out, and they can build you giant props to your liking. The idea for the business is the brainchild of Richard Deaver, a local guy who's worked in construction most of his life. So he thought, hey, hey, now why not try something different? Try to run wild with my imagination and start building really cool stuff. And that's what he's doing. And so, for example, he's built giant props for the Big Fresno Fair, uh, the Grizzlies out at Chichancy, restaurants, Children's Hospital. He also spent much of his time building theme, themes for parks, museums, and water parks around the country. Simply spectacular. You know, things like mascots, characters made of styrofoam, my friends. That's right, you're looking at styrofoam. He can build just about anything that you want of your choosing. 3D laser, steel laser cutting, welding, woodworking, and carving. And he can do it all. Live in our studio right now is Richard Deaver, the owner of Monster City Studios. He is here to take your phone calls and talk about this very unusual business. To say the least, 436 Me TV, option 11. Do call in, do turn down the sound. We'll be back in just a moment. When you're looking for Whirlpool innovation and quality, who has the answers, the selection, the price? Ventura TV Appliance. With billions in nationwide appliance buying power, more than Home Depot and Best Buy combined will help you save. Our low prices on Energy Star qualified Whirlpool appliances save you energy and money and pay no interest on select models when paid in full within 12 months. Ventura TV Appliance, serving you since 1951. Back here on the program talking about Monster City Studios with Richard Deaver here. He is a first-time guest, and I call this a very unusual business. Uh, would you agree with that? <laughs> it is unusual. It's, it's not something that you see every day, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. How, so you're the brainchild of this thing. How did this all come about? Well, it's, it's actually not just me. There's a lot of people that are involved in, this, in the, the creative side of this company. So what we... The one thing that we've done is we've made a, an attempt or a real effort to go out and find local creative talent. And surprisingly, there's a lot of it here in the, in the Central Valley. Uh, we've had some people that have, have moved away and have come back to Fresno uh, because the opportunities that are here now didn't exist at one time. So they come back and they get involved in what we do. So we have all kinds of artists, illustrators, sculptors, uh, painters, animators, just everything that you can think of. So, you know, we have carpenters and plumbers and electricians, but a lot of our work, like you mentioned, is with styrofoam. Yeah, I, I want to roll a piece of videotape here. Let's, let's take the first one and you can describe on the screen exactly sure. what is going on, what we're looking at here. Is that styrofoam right there? No, that's actually... Uh, is one that of wood? The, that, no, that's... That's actually an aluminum uh, carousel horse from the Playland carousel that we're restoring. Okay, we're restoring so you're all restoring the there. Playland Storyland, right? We're restoring the horses, the carousel right now on the horses. Okay, okay. And so, how are you doing that? Well, the first thing we did, I mean, right, what he's doing there is he's taping off for uh, paint. He's got a number of different colors that have been put on there. Two of them are already finished. This is the last one that's uh, that's being painted right now. But the rest of them, I think there's 59 total, will be done in blocks of probably 10 horses at a time so we can keep the carousel operating. Yeah, and so these are made of wood? No, that's actually cast aluminum. Oh, okay, all right. And so when, when are these gonna be finished? Uh, two of them are finished now. This one will be finished this week. They won't go back on the carousel for probably two weeks. Mm -hmm. And then they're gonna, there's a, an event coming up in September uh, that's basically a fundraiser to get proceeds to finish the rest of the carousel. There's a lot of work that has to be done on it. Man, so this is this is a project that uh, will take a, approximately how long from start to finish? Uh, you're probably looking at six months to nine months there. To For the restoration? All, to do them all, yes. Yeah, and there's is that a finished product? No, that's not finished there. The, the, that one there, the when this picture was taken, it was not finished. It is now. It's actually got a lot more color on it. Oh, okay. And so where is this from? Is that from Storyland Playland as well? This, yeah, these are all Storyland Playland horses. Oh, okay. Okay. Very pretty. Very unique. Uh, no question about that. So I mentioned that your business, uh, you do a lot of it outside the city, outside the state, maybe outside the country. 
So I'm assuming there is a demand for this kind of work? There is. The, um, I mean, there's parks everywhere in, in the world. And there's museums and there's water parks and uh, family entertainment centers. So they're everywhere. So it's the, a lot of our business comes from parks like that, you know, small parks, large parks. Uh, we do work for museums. We do work for even companies like Nike and L'Oreal Paris. We've done work for them. We do a lot of work for special event companies that are that are putting on large events either in L.A. or other markets. We've done a huge display in uh, the Nike store in Manhattan, which was for Kobe Bryant's new line of shoes that came out. So it's just it's a lot of various different projects that we work on. So, so Richard, what do you do? You take an order, and then how, how, does, it, how does it work from there? A lot of times, if it's a company like, say, let's say, Nike, they're going to come to us with a specific request. They might have the design already completed or have us do the design, but sometimes people come and they say, we want something, we don't know exactly what. Or they might say, or they might they might say, I want to cut out a Michael Jordan. Right. Okay. And you can do that. Sure. You can do the life size cut out of Michael Jordan wearing Nikes or holding a pair of Nikes we or can whatever. Do larger than life. You can you can we do can larger. Make, we can make things as big as they need to be. As big as a building, if you want. Sure. <laughs> sure. So so they come to you um, uh, with the, with a set of plans. What if they don't have a set of plans? We create the we do all the design in house if they don't have something. We'll work with whatever. I mean, it really depends on what the client is looking for. Sometimes they'll come to us with very specific plans. I mean, we're talking full set of plans. Other times they might have just a, a grain of an idea. All right. So how does how does Nike hear about your company? They actually found us through uh, one of our vendors where we got our equipment that does most of the, the, the mill work. Uh, that company refers business to their different clients uh, in different parts of the country and the world, and they referred us. They're, they're out so of is Calgary, it, is Canada. It's almost like word of mouth in a way? Some of it is. Our website is very, um, we get a lot of business off our website. We get in, you know, inquiries from companies large and small and individuals and everything else. All right, roll another piece of videotape here on the show and we can uh, show our viewers exactly what we're looking at here. What is this? This is a large, um, it's an Indiana Jones themed project that we're working on. And this is wow. a god that's inside. This is about 16 to 18 feet tall. Uh, this is going in uh, a private uh, home, basically. It is. It is. It's going inside of a private home? Well, it's actually not the home. It's where this individual keeps, uh, it, it's just basically one of their business locations. But that's about 6,600 square feet total. And there's all kinds of uh, wall facades and there's a be a dance uh, dance floor and a DJ stage and a bar. So this is like a piece of art uh, decor inside the home, basically. Yeah, this will be an area that he will use for different events. He'll have fundraisers there. He'll use it for private parties for you know that he has. Himself. What's that made of? That's all styrofoam. That's all styrofoam right there. And so, what would the cost of this thing be? If I wanted something similar, what are you going to charge me? You're probably looking thirty to forty thousand for that. What? Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. And that's one of the biggest the biggest things that people when they when you say styrofoam, they go, Oh, it's just foam, it's not gonna cost that much. It's really the cost of the foam isn't really the, the part, it's what we do with it. All the, the process that we go through, each one of those uh, if you look at where the, the joints were in that in that god, in that face, those are like stacked stones like they would have made, you know, when they first carved those gods. Those are individually cut mm -hmm. and then assembled and then finished. There's a lot of detail work. That one, you know, if that had steel in it uh, and things like that, it would be even more expensive, but it does get very expensive for this stuff. How long does something like that last, that styrofoam? It'll last forever. 10 years, 20 years? It'll last forever. It'll last forever. It's going to be inside. Styrofoam. Out of the elements, obviously. Yeah, styrofoam does not break down. I mean, if it breaks down, 
it's if it's outside forever and gets a lot of sun and things like that but anything that's going to be exposed to to the elements we coat with a um, what you're looking at on that that statue has a coating on the outside of it that's basically like a rhino truck bed liner uh, what's this here what's this machine here that's our CNC machine it's basically operates off a computer program we'll design something in a 3d software program mm -hmm. or we can scan an object we can scan uh, you know a coffee cup and we can reproduce that coffee cup as large as as we want to what if I say so this machine will make the carvings this cuts the foam okay and then we do it in pieces and then we assemble those pieces Oh, I see. And same thing here. Uh, it's all done by computer. It's all computerized. All computerized right there. And so if I want to cut out of George Washington's face, you can do it? We can. To a T, huh? We can get it exactly like the, like whatever the design is. If we wow. could scan his face, we can make it. Yeah. Well, all you gotta, <laughs> all you gotta do is pull out some money and you got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that right there? What is that? That's styrofoam? That's just, a, that's all the foam that's come off of the, um, the machine, uh -huh. the, in the basically the, the the granular pieces of the foam after we've cut it. Okay, and, and do you save that and recycle it? We or? use it for some things. We we just uh, our art director, or actually our vice president of design, just came up with a technique to age. When you looked at that one, that big god with the cobra on its head. Yes. We did a paint technique to make it look like there was like moss on on one part of it. And he did that with using some of the styrofoam. He sprayed an adhesive on, put the foam on, wow. and then sprayed over it, then wiped it off. Wow. All right. Richard Deaver is here. He's the head of uh, Monster City Studios. He can uh, sculpt just about anything of your choosing or liking. 436, Me TV Option 11. Remember, when you go to Storyland and Playland, you're going to see his work out there. Back in just a moment. Considering solar, whether you're ready to buy now or just exploring your options, the consultants at Solar Negotiators are here to help you. A call to Solar Negotiators is like calling five solar companies at once. You see, when local established solar contractors have gaps in their schedule, they call Solar Negotiators to fill them. Right now, get five years of panel cleaning and maintenance or $1,000 off your new solar panels. So stop wasting your time searching and call Solar Negotiators because when contractors compete for your business, you win. All right, let's continue the ball rolling here on Connect With Me on this uh, Tuesday morning. The focus is on business. Put that disclaimer up real quick, and we uh, just want to mention and reiterate that Richard Deaver, the owner of Monster City Studios, came here of his own free will. We are proud to, um, you know, shine the light on his business and try to encourage others to be uh, as successful as Richard has been and as successful as Mark Sharon has been here at Ventura TV. So we try to highlight and focus uh, the positive things about uh, local business here on our program each and every Tuesday when we have the time if there aren't other things going on. And we're glad that Richard is here. Very interesting, unique business as he makes these carvings and sculptors uh, out of styrofoam and other types of material, not only styrofoam, right? We work with uh, a lot of wood. We use a lot of reclaimed materials too. Wood, steel, uh, we work with fiberglass. Mm -hmm. There's there's really no limit to the things that we will work with, but the uh, foam is really our primary. Caller, uh, you're on the air, go ahead. Fascinating guest. Let me see if I got this right. So if I come up with an idea, let's say I wanna duplicate the Sphinx from uh, Egypt. <laughs> in Giza and I'd like to have it say two thirds and I'd like it in my backyard and I'd like to be permanent. I'd like water to come out of his ears or out of his mouth or something like that. Basically, I don't have to go any further than what is it, the west side of the 99 to these people bring them a picture or they probably already have a picture of the Sphinx and say, hey, can you do this for me? I'd like it in my backyard. It's on my bucket list. I'd like to have a Sphinx in my backyard. And these people can create it from a styrofoam block. Am I getting this right? Because I got another question, so. Uh, you're correct. Um, this is this is terrific. So, uh, am I am I not national... doing a good job of uh, am I not doing a good job of uh, explaining how he does it or or what? <laughs> no, I was just enjoying. I was engrossed in the in the, in, in the concept, and and I just wanted to right. see if I was getting it right. Uh, so it doesn't necessarily have to be, I don't have to be a, like a, a multinational corporation like Nike or uh, 
such as that. Uh, but we go to these home shows, and they've got water features and fire features that you can buy. They're made, I don't know, some of them in China, maybe some of them in Michigan, whatever. When we don't have to really do much except use our own imagination and maybe a little elbow grease from Monster St City Studios to put something together that's going to make my yard unique or my house unique. This is terrific. Uh, uh, I'm surprised that uh, that we haven't heard more about it before. Uh, I, I, yeah, okay. Thank you, we John, get it. for having him on. The, okay. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah, uh -huh. how come we haven't heard about you guys before? What, do you keep a low profile or what? I guess we're a well-kept secret locally. There, there are people that know of us. Uh, we have gotten a certain amount of coverage. We really haven't sought it out necessarily, uh, just because we're mostly we're busy. Yeah. Uh, a lot of like I like I mentioned earlier, a lot of our work comes from either word of mouth or the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, we do we do stay with uh, like our Facebook page. We do a lot of updating on that, just so we're always putting project work. What's out your there. website? It's www.monstercitystudios.com. Okay. Uh, you've heard the old term, you know, come on, it's not brain surgery, but to the rest of us, it looks like brain surgery, what you're doing. Let's roll a videotape. <laughs> you, you understand where I'm coming from on this? I mean, yeah, it looks like brain surgery. I know it's not, but um, you make it look so easy, I guess. Yeah, some of this stuff, I mean, this is part of a... Uh, part of a temple that goes with this same Indiana Jones themed. I see. It's, it's essentially a man cave. Yeah. Is what we're building. A Raiders fan or Niners fan? Or Dallas Cowboys or what? That's usually Me? the man cave. You oh, said this is this for a man cave. Know, uh, what, you know, is this a for a question. Cowboys fan or a Raiders fan? You know, fan I or? don't know. <laughs> that's a good question. I don't know what uh, I know he follows Fresno State. Okay. But I don't know about the professional teams. Look at this. So this is that's from Indiana also, Jones? Yeah, that's also going in there. In oh his, my uh, gosh. Because it's basically a collection of different themes that were all part of the D Indiana Jones movies. Right. So you'll have the villages like the like Moroccan, the, the bar bazaar where the, the marketplace where people would trade. Now here's a uh, here's a still photo right there. And you can see how tall these statues are. Yeah, that's Anthony. He's uh, he's our painter. He's about six foot tall. So you can see how tall those statues are. And these are all styrofoam, right? The, actually, the, the statues, the Egyptian statues, are cast. We, ca we put those in a mold, okay. and then we backfill with a pour foam. So okay. it's still foam. What about this one? What's this here? That's the, that's the god that's going in the, uh, in the man cave. You can see, if you look okay. to the right of that picture, uh, part of the temple that had the two snakes on the front of it. Right. That, the temple is actually taken apart right now because we're... We have to and take you it gotta, apart to you've got to ask yourself, who would want that in their man cave or home or anywhere? I mean, look at you put something like that in a museum, but not a house, right? Who well, wants to wake up in the morning and look at that every day? <laughs> uh, you know, if people that that love the the movies or theme parks or whatever, this would be like seventh heaven for them. You know, that the, wow. waking up at, the, to that every day. All right. So, um, speaking of man caves, do you also build man caves if 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 that's what somebody wants? I mean, not build them, but you know, we would do just about anything. I mean, within reason. I mean, we're let's say a guy's a big Dallas Cowboy fan or a oh, Raiders sure. fan. We would do that. Okay, and then you go into this place that's gigantic, maybe as big as Ventura TV, and the guy wants a statue of Al Davis, let's say, in his man have, cave. The only thing we have to be careful of is any copyrighted. Uh, some you know marks, right? Uh, if the Raiders or or the Cowboys came to us, that'd be one thing. But if an individual came to us and said, "I want something that says Raiders on it," we well, have what to be if he very wants careful. a life-size statue of Al Davis or Ken Stabler or Jim Plunkett? Can you do that? As long as it doesn't have Raiders on there, really, without without permission. Yeah, you know, if you're doing something like that, and you're doing it where you're making money off of it, then you've got copyright copyright issues, issues and you can be sued. Sure, is that right? So you can make an, an Al Davis look-alike statue without having Raider logos on it. Sure. Yeah, if somebody wanted that. Yeah. We could do, you could do any individual, you, you know, pretty much as long as you're not identifying. Like this, this man cave that we're doing now, we're not putting a big sign up. We're not doing exactly the Indiana Jones theme. We're doing uh, Something things that similar. are close to it. Yes. Something similar. So if you wanted 
a life-size statue of the president in your home, it, can it have the presidential seal or not? Is that, that idea, that's a good question because that's government might be different than private private yeah. business. Yeah. Um, it would depend on the president, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> or if you wanted something of J. Edgar Hoover and you put FBI on there, I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? Okay, we're talking to uh, Richard Deaver. He is from Monster City Studios. He can build anything that you want. You have a man cave. Hey, do you have a woman cave? I mean, uh, if you, whatever you have in your house and you want it done, call this guy. We'll give out his number in just a moment. Back with our program after this. When you like Ventura TV Appliance on Facebook, it's nice. But when you love the Whirlpool appliances we deliver, it's even better. Our website is cool, and it's a good place to start. But you really should touch the merchandise before you buy. Touch the new Whirlpool Ice Collection. It offers a modern style made to create an inspiring kitchen experience. Save big on this Whirlpool Black Ice or White Ice Kitchen. Come in to Ventura TV Appliance and touch the merchandise today. And I knew this would generate a phone call or two for Richard Deaver. Caller, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, John. Um, actually, there's a commercial. Oh, there you are. Um, you you were just saying, are you there? Oh, yeah. Are you there? <laughs> yeah. I, I just can't hear any feedback from your show right now for some reason. Oh, really? I mean, okay. Any, I'm sorry about that. Uh, that that's okay. Um, uh, the image that you were showing that you wanted to know who would want to look at that. Is it possible for you to flash that on the screen again? Yeah, it's it's up there right um, now. My I, I, I can tell you, John, I didn't have a real quick look at it. Yeah. But peace people who, okay, there we go. See, you got the Cobra. It, um, it, it looks like actually a Maya face, but I can tell you people who are into Eastern philosophy or possibly indigenous, uh, yes, uh, maybe the Maya, but because the cobra, yeah, you'll find things like that located all over India. No, They're I understand that. I, I just was posing the question. I'm not the type of person who, who wants would to look, like, look at that. Yeah, yeah I, I'm not. Who... I'm not questioning the the artwork or or anything else. I'm just no, saying. No, it's, I yeah, I just no, just, it's beautiful. The, it is the answer to your. The answer to your question, though, is someone that is into Eastern philosophy, um, you find things like that all through um, all right. uh, India. I understand that. And depending on who, uh, what aspect, they uh, they do believe in one God, the same God. Yeah. But okay. But different aspects of the deity okay. are I understand. Uh, kind of like, kinda like the right. saints' statues for Catholics. Okay, I understand. I understand, and I appreciate the phone call very much. I'm just saying, look, I'm of Greek descent. I, you know, I went to Greece several years ago. There are Greek statues all over the place. Do I want them in my bedroom so I can wake up in the morning and look at them each and every day? The answer is no. <laughs> there, it's not that I don't think they're beautiful and that they're a work of art sure. and that they're great and they serve a purpose. I just don't want to wake up every day and look at it. No, and and not everybody's going to it. Just, right. These are not every home has something like this. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. And if they were to pick up the Parthenon in in Athens and move it to the inside of my house, <laughs> I, I wouldn't want that. Anyway, hi, we got a series of photos here that we want to show, and so go ahead and tell us what we're looking at there, my friend. This is actually a new installation we did out at the Fresno Fair that is uh, in the wine tasting area. So it's a that is all foam that you're looking at. That is foam. Everything that you see there looks like stone to me. The it's wood, the wood beam, the the rocks, everything that you see on that is is 100% styrofoam. Wow. Next photo here. What are we looking at? This is actually part of what's going to be going out to Storyland. Okay. Uh, it's a it's a new attraction that's going to be coming, uh, and that's one of the buildings that's going to go in there. Fantastic. Uh, what is this right here? Now, how'd you like to wake up to that every morning? <laughs> That's actually the hand. There's, there's two hands that go underneath that, that large god with the snake on his head. And they lay on, their, they <laughs> this, lay on the side. <laughs> this, <laughs> so can, that hand is part of this? Right, you can see them on either side at the bottom there and then the stairs that go up. Those will actually have cushions where people can lounge on those. Wow. Because there's steel inside them. Okay, and this here? 
That's uh, a model that uh, James, our VP of design, has been working on. He just, he, he's very creative. He likes to build a lot of things. I think he's building this one at home. Mm -hmm. Another photo here. What is this? This is, you, you can see there's a couple of structure or characters in the background. This is at a, um, at a show that was going on this past weekend back east. We created these, uh, these characters that are based on a board game that has been released called Rivet Wars. And those gentlemen that were standing there were dressed up in the theme. It's kind of a World War I yeah. type theme. Yeah, and this here? Whoops, go back. Can you go back? That's the, that's the robot from that same game. Oh, the robot game. from the same thing. Okay, go ahead, next. Uh, this, is our, this is our crew, and those are the two robots that we had just built for this company. You can see All right, this how is tall a, they are. This is a test, Richard. Keep that photo up. This is a test. I want you to name every person in that photo. <laughs> <laughs> i got to put my glasses on so I can see. <laughs> now, you don't have to. I'm just, I'm just messing with you. I'm messing with you. But that's a good-looking crew. Uh, a, a crew of how many there? Uh, there's probably 14 to 15 people there. Wow. Wow. So that, how many employees do you have all together? That's about, about 14 or 15. There's, there's a couple of people that aren't in that picture. But. Any more video to roll or is that it? Have we gone through? Yeah, let's roll another piece of video tape here. And I want to ask you, when you build something that's monstrous or gigantic in you, like this right here, if you need to move this thing across the country, let's say, as an example, okay, I'm not saying you are, but if you do, you ship this thing in its entirety in one piece like that, or you break it up and then they put it together once it arrives? That particular piece would be shipped in its entirety. But you, what you see here, these walls are, are broken up. That's the temple that's going in that uh, man cave. So we'll, <laughs> we'll knock things down and, and reassemble them on site. We just shipped a project to uh, Abu Dhabi. Really? That was uh, a large tree house that's going, that went inside a, uh, a one of the mega malls in Abu yeah. Dhabi, and it's at a children's discovery center. So it had to be knocked down into smaller pieces. So it name be moved. all of the places here in Fresno that you've worked with. You mentioned the big Fresno Fair. What else? Uh, Storyland, Playland, yeah, in Chickchancy Park. We did some work for Westwoods. Um, we did. We just did some work for um, Wild Water Adventures. Okay. We we What'd you build out there? Uh, their character, their mascot, Slick Duck. Not, we, not we made a uh, we made a, a large character of Slick Duck that's up on a um, like a lifeguard tower by oh, their okay. pools. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to be back with our program here on Connect with Me in just a moment. Four three six Me TV Option Eleven. See you on the other side of the break. When you're looking for KitchenAid innovation and quality. Who has the answers, the selection, the price? Ventura TV Appliance. With billions in nationwide appliance buying power, more than Home Depot and Best Buy combined, we'll help you save. Our low prices on Energy Star qualified KitchenAid appliances save you energy and money and pay no interest on select models when paid in full within 12 months. Ventura TV Appliance, serving you since 1951. Back here on the program, connect with me. One final segment here with Richard Deaver of Monster City Studios and a call coming in. Good morning, you're on Connect With Me. Caller, go ahead. Hey, caller, you're on the air. Hi. Um, I actually have a question for, the, for your guest. Yeah, turn down the sound on your TV, please. It's actually all the way down. Okay, go ahead. Okay. okay. Um, I'm an artist. I do, obviously... Uh, um, I use mainly pen and ink on paper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I, I do a lot of things. The one thing that I've been trying to figure out how to do without using actual rocks, if I was to give you a two-dimensional drawing, could you um, put that make it become 3d yes is that good what question you said? and by the way you guys are artists uh everybody that I, works uh, for you're, us you're, you're, you're what you're doing is art yeah thank you no um, question and the, okay. the horses i remember the horses at the uh, the unfinished one you showed yeah was more beautiful than 
the ones that I remember from when I was a kid. I would love if you guys have a finished piece to show. Okay. Um, is it possible for me to get your phone number? Yeah, um, we'll give it out. Where I could. Sure. Where I. Okay, I'm, I got right. my pen and my paper. I'm okay, gonna, uh, we'll let you go. go. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. First of all, let's show that finished piece. Is that that's a finished piece? That horse. It's not. It's not a finished piece. That's no, not a that's, finished piece. There okay. Are, there are numerous more colors on that. Okay, numerous more colors. But can you take a a, a two-dimensional uh, project and turn it into a 3D project? Yes. You can. How do you do that? Well, if somebody brings a, a, a pencil sketch to us, we'll use we use a, a 3D program called ZBrush. Okay. And we basically create a 3D file of that object, whatever it is, that. Uh, the things that you've been showing, like that large god with the um, snake on his head, that was created in a 3D program. That program is then sent to the our CNC, and there's a tool path that's that's set up in it. I mean, there's a process that it goes through, but that file is a full 3D that you can rotate around and look at all angles and upside down and everything else. And then we take it and cut those pieces and then assemble them. Well, let's roll that videotape one more time of the saw, and you can talk a little bit about the equipment, but these, as mentioned by me on this program earlier and by the caller, these people, I think you even mentioned it, are artists. Right. They are nothing more than artists. I mean, they're creative, they're talented, that's why you hired them, right? Uh, that's true. I mean, they're, even the people that are doing, like, woodwork, our carpenters, there's an art to what they do as well because they're very, I mean, they're very detail oriented and the finish work and everything else is beautiful. So everybody is, is an artist in there and if they're, if they're still learning to be an artist, they still have the basic talent. So we'll bring in interns sometimes. What's the criteria to, 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 work to, to, to working City? for you? Uh, well, an artistic Talent is, is definitely critical. A must. I mean, you have to be able to, you, have, you basically have to be able to see something and then figure out how to make it. And that's the machine again. That's the saw, right? That, that helps you carve out all of these fine details? It's, a, it's, it's a CNC. It's kind of like a big router. So okay. it's got different size bits that will come down and they operate through a program. So they will follow a path. Mm -hmm. and they'll create the shapes. That's actually a thin piece of foam that he's got there, but we can put a full block of foam that's three by three by eight foot long. And you, you, know, you can build something that's as big as Ventura TV, but you build it in stages, right? You can't right. build everything at one time. Um, so there's that fine sand of styrofoam. It looks like sand, but it's uh, particles, of course. Uh, right. So Richard, before we go here, uh, can you give out your number and your website slowly so everybody can sure. write it down, give it a chance to... Uh, sink in? Sure. The phone number is 559-498-0540. One more time. 559-498-0540. Okay. And our website is www.monstercitystudios.com. Okay. I appreciate you being here. Fascinating stuff. Fascinating. Incredible. Come back again. Well, you are going to come back again. We're going to talk about Storyland here in a couple of months when it's yes. all done. A lot of exciting yeah. things coming. Storyland will be done when? Uh, it's probably going to be probably after the first of the year. After the first. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you to Richard Deaver of Monster City Studios. Stay where you're at. We're not done yet. Anyway, coming up next, we're going to be talking about Greek Fest. It starts this weekend at St. George's Greek Orthodox Church, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Your phone calls, don't forget about that, 436 Meet TV, option 11 back in a momento. When you like Ventura TV Appliance on Facebook, it's nice. But when you love the KitchenAid appliances we deliver, it's even better. Our website is cool and it's a good place to start, but you really should touch the merchandise before you buy. Save big with KitchenAid. Right now, get up to a $1,000 prepaid MasterCard when you purchase select KitchenAid appliances. Get the best selection, price, and service in town without waiting. Come in to Ventura TV Appliance and touch the merchandise today. Don't you ever hit me again!
Chief, I think we got a hit on our Me hands. TV Fresno, now on Comcast Channel 187. When you're looking for KitchenAid innovation and quality, who has the answers, the selection, the price? Ventura TV Appliance. With billions in nationwide appliance buying power, more than Home Depot and Best Buy combined, we'll help you save. Our low prices on Energy Star qualified KitchenAid appliances save you energy and money and pay no interest on select models when paid in full within 12 months. Ventura TV Appliance, serving you since 1951. <laughs> From now on, when I sneeze, I'll try to sneeze more friendly. <laughs> oh, time to change pace here on Connect With Me, and you can call in at 436-ME-TV, option 11. Let's roll the videotape, and I'll take you to the next topic of the day here on Tuesday. You know, it is Business Tuesday, but this is kind of a business, kind of a nonprofit for the great uh, cause for the church, Greek Orthodox Church here in Fresno, St. George's. Hey, what is that? That looks like Greek Fest coming up this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That is all the food out there that you can taste or chow down, uh, either lunch, uh, dinner, whatever, whatever uh, turns you on at this uh, stage of the game. And, you know, they got great Greek music, dancing, all night long almost. I know one guy that's going to be out there is Kopi. And, uh, Kopi, did you shoot this video? Oh, uh, quite a while ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think the last like festival. 20, 20 years ago? No, Ooh, not I'm quite kidding. 20. But the festival has been here for over 50 years. There's the Greek dancing right there. Yeah, I'll tell you what. We have live Greek music Friday night and Saturday night, Saturday and Sunday afternoon. Uh, we get like 25,000 people coming through, John. So it's a great festival. Uh, it's become probably one of the biggest cultural events in the Valley. Yeah, and I, I'm going to go down the water slide. Yeah, we've got that. <laughs> Absolutely. We have games for the kids, bounce yeah. houses, water slides. They can pan for gold, all kinds of things. So it's a family event, as you can see. Yeah, I like it. It's great. Hey, move right up to the desk there, Clay. Okay, Go good. As close as you can. Oh, thank you very much. There, there you go. Good. Right. Right. Feel at good. home here. Well, good to see you, John. Good to see you. Great to too. be here. I, I love the video. It's a great looking no. video. And so, yeah, you're gonna, you guys, for the whole festival, it's like twenty five thousand, right? The three yeah, days. Three days. Friday, yeah. Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. By the way, this guy needs no introduction. You just came from the Great Day set. How's everything going over there? Just why well, can I say great? Just great. great? Yeah, great. we're having a great time. Wonderful. You, you brought a tray of you goodies. You know, I here, brought so. you guys some Greek pastries. Uh, baklava, paklava, if you're Armenian. Wait a minute. Uh, what video was that? What, 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 what was that? Oh, okay. Oh. So basically, I got to, I got some baklava here. Yes. We got the kuluraikia, the Greek cookies you dunk in your coffee. Is there any chance you can hold that up to that camera? Oh, I, absolutely. It, right there. Absolutely. Take that chiron down. There please. you go. There take you the, go. Take the chiron down. And we so have the kuluraikias, the buttered cookies with the powdered sugar. We have the diplis. They're deep fried and they're soaked in honey. Ooh. Oh, it's so good. This is wonderful. Melo macarona, which is also soaked in honey. These big ones right here. So these are just a few of the things. We have tons of Greek food. We have obviously the Greek salad. The right. yellow sandwiches. We right. have uh, the pasticcio, which is the Greek lasagna. We have the moussaka, which is a bechamel sauce with a hamburger, spiced hamburger. Not not spicy hot, but Greek spices. Yeah. And then it also has uh, eggplant and potato. It's just wonderful. A lot of great things. Let me ask you about sure. your outfit because I, I tease you about it. Sure. And, you know we're both. But Greek, I'm used obviously. to it. But I yeah. know. I know. I know. So so explain uh, seriously. Yeah. Uh, talk about the the vest. Uh, the shirt. Well, it's a it's typical a, Greek tradition, right? right? This is a Greek warrior outfit. Okay. And as you'll see, mainly from the Peloponnese, the Peloponnesian part of Greece, which is which southern, is southern, southern part? Greece. Yeah, yeah. It, it's 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 uh, west of Athens. Gotcha. You cross you cross the Gulf of Corinth, and all that is Peloponnesos. Right. So, and it's a Greek warrior outfit, and uh, it goes back yeah. many years. Every every part of the country kind of has their own. Like Crete has the vraka, the the the, bu the bulky pants, you know, with yeah. the boots. So every part of the country. Uh, has their own individualized style, 
you know, yeah. but this is from the Peloponnese. Yeah, that's great. And yeah. so this is not a J.C. Penny special. No, it isn't. It was a Gotcha's closeout. <laughs> Close, yeah, right. Yeah. All right. So what's so special about the Greek food? Well, you know, every culture has its it has its specialty. You know, and ours, uh, you know, of course, is the the healthy aspect of the Greek food. Of course, the Greek yeah. diet, the salads. You know, you eat fish and chicken. You know, uh, obviously a lot of the greens. You know, dandelion greens. A lot of that is very important. Yeah. And everything is fresh, you, especially your Greek salads. Um, and so everything is fresh. And in the old days, you know, everything was you grew it in the old yeah. days. You know, in the village, everything you ate, you grew. So it was healthy. And Didn't some people have a still do. Some people, some people st still do. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And so, you know, I recently had a couple of stents put in. Uh, uh -huh. I don't want another one. No, I don't uh, want you to put no, another no, one. No, no, not another one. Another I, I, one. No, no, no. But I can still go out to the festival and eat yeah. healthy. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, all the food is made at the church. All right. the, the, the pastries. This handmade. Is all made. It's handmade. handmade. All these pastries are made at the church. We don't yeah. buy them, let's say, somewhere else and they ship them in. We make everything there. So everything you see in your a la carte sections, in your food booths around the church grounds, it's made there by the community. Right. You're not trucking it in from no. uh, Northern California or no, something. No, everything it's, is made there. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. And so that's unique about this festival. Yeah. Other festivals, and, I, and I'm not putting anybody else down, but I know other festivals, it is almost like factory made, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And and this is not. That's what's so so unique about it. And uh, so, hey, I want to roll a videotape one more time. Not that we haven't seen the grief. Yeah. What about, okay, people are concerned to go out there. Hey, what about parking? Sure. Should they get there early? What does it cost to get in? Absolutely. Why don't you go run the gamut here? Let's talk about that. All right. Well, we do, uh, first of all, we do have parking around okay. the church and all around the church. We also have parking at the Veterans Administration Hospital right oh. there at Clinton and uh, Fresno Street. Okay. Uh, and we have shuttle service. You can park there in the evenings. Uh, we also have parking across at the, um, the Masonic Temple right next door. So we also okay. have parking there and also, um, if I'm not mistaken, at the Seventh-day Adventist across the street. And then street parking, you know, so it's really nice. So you can park, bring the kids. It's, it's a family event. And then it costs $5 to get in. Uh, senior citizens, free admission, and I believe children under six, free admission. Or 12, right. one of the two, don't quote me, but it's one right. of the two. So I get in free then. You get I'm, in free. I'm under 12. No, you're so a senior. <laughs> <laughs> so it's free admission. Call, call you know, or, otherwise, it's $5, but you yeah. can go to our website, www.fresnogreekfest.com, and you can print Say out that the that again ticket. slowly. www.fresnogreekfest.com. Okay. Gotcha. And you can print a ticket up and you save a dollar. It'll only cost you four bucks. To hey, get we it. got a call coming. Well, let's talk to the folks. All right, let's go. Call Hello. Her. Opa, go. who's this? <laughs> Hi, I'm a big fan of the Greek Fest. I was just uh, looking at the video, of, uh, and, and I'm salivating and looking forward to it very much. Well, thank you. Uh, nice, nice to see Kopi. Now, there's two, between the two of you, I guess you're probably the two most famous Greeks in Fresno. I'd say he's number one. Well, you're very kind. You're very yeah. kind. Thank yeah. you. I, I, I guess it's probably a toss-up, whoever would get top billing. Well, there, I don't there know. were a couple of but, others that were famous here, too. Remember Pete Mijas, yeah. the late Pete Mijas? Angelo. He was Angelo Stalas. Yeah. Um, so, there's a few. But anyway, right. uh, Go ahead. We, we'll be looking forward to oh. seeing you there. When, yeah. when do you plan on coming? I plan on coming Friday night because I'm looking forward to that moussaka for like 11 months and oh, 28 days. Man, it, when we were <laughs> making it, we always make a sample tray and try it. You know, oh, my goodness, you better get there. Because it's going to go fast, but we make a lot. Know, we make I'm, enough for everybody. Yeah. Now, who are we going to see out there? Who are we going to see some some VIPs? And this will be the first year without Pete Mehas, and he was also, uh, you know, one of the top. Oh, very nice man. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, we lost Pete recently. Um, you know, you know what? This is why I look at it. Everybody that shows up. Uh, is is important because we appreciate everybody showing up to everybody's participate. Everybody's a VIP. Yeah, at, at our yeah. place. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you come up and say hello Friday, and we'll uh, we'll take a picture together. How's that? Yeah. Absolutely. Anybody anybody's going to have a live telecast from the. Uh, uh, yeah, usually this usually year? at f five o'clock we get the news crews there doing the live stuff. You know, during their you know during their news segments. Yeah. I'll catch it on the news. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. And what is your name? My name is Pete. Also. Pete? Nice to meet you, Pete. Right. We'll see you Friday. All right. Thank, Thank you for the call. I appreciate Thank you. it. Hey, you know, we've got, do we have to take a break here? Yeah. Are we running long? Okay, back with Kopi here in just a moment. 436 Me TV Option 11. Remember, my friends, <clears throat> let's turn down that sound when you call in. Back in a moment. Oh. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified, ready, steam-equipped, high-efficiency Frigidaire Affinity Place. You heard right. 
Right now, save big on select Frigidaire laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. Back here with the one and only Kopi as he flips up that uh, tray so you can see it on that camera there. And those are all the goodies that you can taste and take home even, right? That's right. We have gift packs that you can take already packed in the, you know, the, uh, the plastic containers. Right. Or you can buy them by the piece and make your own gift pack. But, yeah, you definitely want to go to the pastries. By the way, the pastries this year, uh, they're going to be located in our Sunday school room. They're going to be out of the hall because we're trying to improve traffic flow because it's so busy. So they're going to be in the Sunday school room really? right there in the courtyard area. That's our, that's our, so it'll be there. You can pick all your pastries up there. Yeah, and the Sunday school room is right next right there. to the hall. Yeah, right it's there. right you there, know, a couple of steps away. One door away. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, now I want to emphasize this because this is a big fundraiser and a very important fundraiser for the church yeah. each and every year. You do not have to be Greek to go there. Oh, absolutely This not. is for the entire community, absolutely. for the entire valley. You know what? We get people from the Bay Area, Sacramento, Los Angeles coming right. to our event because it's different. Of all uh, we got a call coming. Of all yeah. cultures, yeah. all culture, cultures are invited. Oh, absolutely. You don't have to be Greek. We want everybody to show up because yeah. we want people to share. Like we go to Vietnamese uh, events or Armenian events. We want to learn and appreciate other cultures. We want you to come to our cult our church and enjoy our culture and learn. Yeah, everybody's welcome. Yeah. Caller, you're on the air. Go ahead. Uh, yes, Mr. Malice. I'd like to ask Kopi, uh, where does he get the dandelion greens? For his uh, recipes? Well, a very interesting question. Um, I'll get my dandelions at the farmer's markets. They'll have them. And then also I get them, you can get them at the market up on Herndon. Or you can get them at um, oh, uh, the uh, box store that owns by, that's owned by Save Mart. Um, Food Max. Food Max. They have yeah. them there too. Uh, the one I get them, I get them uh, when I'm in the area, I'll get them there. The one on Blackstone. So there are a few places you get them. And the way I make them, it's real simple. I learned from my parents. My dad, old Greek, he had his garden, right? So he half the garden was dandelion greens. We would cut them, wash them, and I would just cook them just to get some of the bitterness out of it. And then just put some olive oil, lemon juice, and a little salt. Then you got some feta cheese, some olives, some bread, a little wine. And, man, you're set for a meal. Kopi, let me ask you a question that's yeah. unrelated to the uh, Greek food festival. Because I went to Greece. You've been yeah. to Greece. many. Yeah. You were born in Greece. That's right. That's okay. right. Okay. So you you know Greece much better than I. I've only been there one time. But one of the things I noticed. And they're saying, when is John coming back? Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yanni! Hey, Yanni! Pedimu Yanni! Come to Greece! Now, Why is it that I see so many things in Greece yeah. that go on around there? Okay. Mm -hmm. People are more relaxed. Oh, yeah. They smoke, they drink, they eat, yep. they're happy, they live to be a hundred and whatever. Yeah, my okay. dad made it to 96. All right, and you come back here and everybody is stressed out oh, and they're go, go. dying like flies over here. It's a, it's How do you explain it's, it's that? It's a different lifestyle. It's a different <laughs> oh, yeah. lifestyle. You know, we're motivated, we're educated, we're, we want to go, go, go. I want this, I want that, I want a bigger house. I want pressure, this, I want... pressure. And we put a lot of pressure on us. Yeah. And you got to step back sometimes and say, what's it all about? What is really important? So what's the what key is really to their important? longevity there, in your well, opinion? Well, th th their in diet, opinion. Their, the, you know, the diet, uh, diet is important. You know, the newer generation, I don't know how close they stick to the diet well, of the old Olive oil, olive oil. Olive oil. I, I cook in olive oil. I, yeah. I use olive oil Me for too. my eggs. I don't use butter. You no, know, I don't either. I use olive oil, you know. So, um, uh, that, and it's the diet. And just trying to kick back and not be so stressed out. Yeah. Just say, hey, so what? Sometimes, yeah, so yeah. what? Hey. If we get it done next week, yeah. next year, what's the difference? But, then, but over that's here, it's all a trade-off, though. But it's all a trade-off. What do you mean? In how you want to live your life, and if you want to be, um, you know what I mean? It depends what you want out of life. There's got to be balance. Sometimes there's a little too much of ah, what the heck? Yeah, you know what I mean. But is most of Europe that way? Um, I can't speak for most of Europe, but yeah. Greece is coming around. I'm not saying coming around, but they are progressive. You know, yeah. they're, they have, you know, they've entered the 20th century. I mean, but then, <laughs> but Greece, but Greece has been through several wars, like like the other Ooh, European yeah. countries. I know. So you know, you get kicked in the face twice in one in in or three times with the civil war in one century. 
I boy, know. that's going to knock you down for a while. Yeah. So you got to anticipate. You got to. You got to understand that too. Yeah. They got to pick themselves up and start over again. Literally rebuild their country. But so I always it's not easy. found that really fascinating. Yeah. Uh, and to this day, I mean, it's been years since I've been there. Just how they how they outlive us. Yeah. And they outdrink us. They yeah. outsmoke us. Yeah. They outdo us and every. And yet they're living longer than we do. Well, and, you know what? They'll go, out to dinner. they'll go out to dinner at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. I know. You know that's their dinner time. <laughs> it's unbelievable. They'll, they'll take their breaks. But, <laughs> but things are changing because yeah. they don't take their breaks like they used to, you know. But yeah. they do get a month off in August. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Come heck or high water. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hey, listen, uh, yeah. back to the festival. Yeah. So Father Jim Pappas has been here uh, yeah. quite a few times, actually, talking about the church. He will take anybody of any faith, any culture, anywhere, through that church oh, and yeah. take them on a tour and explain Absolutely. what the Greek Orthodox religion yeah. really is. Yeah. We have scheduled and tours every day. Scheduled tours. And, and so talk evening. a little bit about the, I know you're not a priest, yeah. okay? But talk a little bit about what the Greeks believe in. Well, you know, we are Christians. Right. You know, and we have our liturgy. We have believe in the sacraments. Right. You know, obviously, you know. Father, Holy Son, Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. You know, holy matrimony, yeah. holy unction, you know, baptism, marriage. We so believe in, the, you know, the right. sacraments. And we're, we're Christian, we, yeah. you know, and the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the testament, the, um, uh, the Old Testament was written in Greek, you know. Right. So, uh, so, I mean, we're Christians. Yeah. We're Christians. All right. Now, the church. No, the New Testament. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm the wrong guy to ask. Well, pick but, a testament. But, yeah, pick pick one. Yeah. One, pick two, a, or three. One, two, yeah. Is there a third so, testament? No, not yet. there could be after this show. There could be. Okay, yeah. a third or yeah. fourth? I, so, I don't know. Uh, so All right, we're, talk we're, about we're the Christian. ceiling of the church because yeah. it was recently redone. We beautiful, we, we beautiful had architecture. Done. We brought yeah. in two iconographers from Russia, a husband and wife, and they literally like uh, Michelangelo on their backs with yeah. little, yeah. little, you know, uh, brushes. One brush stroke at a time. It took them four years to finish the iconography. Oh, put that up full screen. Go ahead. That's so. the original church here in Fresno. Oh, uh, yeah. That, the other yeah. location. Th that was on, on Fresno Street uh, in uh, downtown Fresno. Uh, and that was uh, Father Liberakis. Okay. Who was our, with the priest that when I came to Fresno, this wow. is the consecration of the new church where it is now. At, the groundbreaking. Uh, Look at the that. groundbreaking. And what well, you have here, the church members built this church with their own hands. We had uh, we have a, wow. Mr. Pete Rokas, who is a, a, an architect. He designed it. And all these men, uh, many of them, unfortunately, are no longer here. There's Pete Mias right there. Uh, were the ones that built the church with their own sweat and blood, as you can see, working on the foundation. So Pete Mehaus actually chipped in and helped build that church. Yeah, wow. he was one of them. Uh, and Look at the beams. His uncles, his uncles. The high uh, beams there. Look yeah. at the arch. That's the arch that goes over. And then you go in the church, you can still see those arches, obviously, inside the church. So yeah. uh, you can see the building of the church. This was back in 1952-53. Yeah. There it is. You can see the wide shot. Shot with 16 millimeter color film. Look yeah. at that. Is that beautiful? Unbelievable. Uh, the Petropolis family, Steve, Petropolis, and Chris shot this. They, uh, they used to own uh, Bargain Liquors. Bargain. Look at that. Look at yeah. that shot. Is that Look gorgeous? at the arches. Yeah. Yeah. And, and who's that? That's Father Liberakis. Okay. He was our, our the new priest at the new church. The hoisting of the cross yeah. there, not too bad. Yeah, yeah. wonderful man. He recently passed away. He was a priest back east, I believe, in Connecticut. Right. And uh, here we are bringing the icons. Uh, from the old church, and my mom is in. There's my mom right there. Oh, a quick shot of my mom. I got to see wow. my mom there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I was Amazing. an altar boy. And there's in that the church. church. There's the church there now, it is right as now. it stands yeah. now. And so that's so, what you'll see now when you come um, into the church. Yeah, and so that's well, that's not the new iconography, is it? Not. No, that's not no, new. No. No, I don't. Uh, that's the old. I don't know. That's okay. Yeah. That's the inside of the church. It's beautiful anyway. No, no, uh, needless to say. Yeah. So, so Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Kopi. What time do the gates open? Gates open uh, Friday, four o'clock till midnight. Saturday, it's from eleven in the morning till midnight. Sunday, wow. from eleven to six. What's the biggest night? Friday, uh, Saturday. Saturday night, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. But for the to total three days, Friday, yeah. Saturday, Sunday, yeah. twenty-five thousand yeah, people get, are gonna yeah, go through the, the gates. Twenty-five thousand people. Wow. And and again, everybody is invited. Yeah, everybody. And kids under 12 or 6, go to our website, www.fresnogreekfest.com, and you get all the information, and you can print out a ticket and save a dollar on missing charge. And is Plus, there a phone number or no? 233 uh, 0397. Okay. 233 0397. Out of time, my friend. Okay. Out of time. Out of Thank time. You, Don't want to get cut off. Oh, no. Hey, <laughs> thanks, Kopi. Oh, Good opa. to see you. Opa. Back tomorrow with another program here. Jim Perez, our friend out there in Northwest Fresno with that brand new golf course. He'll be the guest here on Connect With Me. Have a great day.